Costa Rica is about 14,000 kilometres away from Sydney, and with over 900 species of bird recorded, it is one of the world's top birding destinations. On this nine-day holiday, we'll visit four different locations, starting at the capital city of San Jose. We stayed at the Bougainvillea Hotel on the outskirts of San Jose. It had a huge garden, which is perfect to introduce us to the local birds. Don't forget to visit the centre of town, where it's worth going to the local market and trying some of the local food. After San Jose, it was a two and a half hour bus trip to the National Park of Tortuguero. We had a quick stop for lunch, did a bit of a walk and saw a couple of birds. <laughs> To get to your accommodation, you need to load up on one of these boats. They take you for an hour through these narrow canals where you'll get to see a little bit of wildlife until you finally reach your lodge. We stayed at the Laguna Lodge, which had some interesting architecture, but it was quite comfortable and had some good food. One of the highlights of the lodge was definitely walking around the gardens, looking at the tropical plants and also looking at the tropical birds. Tortuguero is an excellent place to see the critically endangered Great Green Macaw. Usually located high in the trees, they are tricky to get photos of. Thank you. 
clay-coloured thrush is the national bird of Costa Rica. They are one of the most common birds of the country and have been represented in folk stories, songs and novels. <laughs> must do in the National Park is to take a boat trip through the canals, where you'll see plenty of birds and other animals. First look at monkeys is always exciting. I'm pretty sure these are howler monkeys, but I'm no primate expert. If I'm incorrect, feel free to leave a comment. We also got our first look at the keel billed toucan, an iconic Central American bird. Just doing a bit of frog spotting. They're tiny. Tiny, tiny. Our next destination was the Salva Verde Lodge, a perfect place to explore virgin rainforests and inland rivers. Situated on about 500 acres, the lodge was comfortable. The weather was hot and humid and there was quite a bit of rain.
One of the highlights of the lodge was the bird viewing platform, where you could sit and eat breakfast and watch wild birds coming and going. The largest toucans in the world is the yellow-throated toucan. They have been known by a couple of names in the past, including chestnut mandible toucan and black mandible toucan. They have quite a varied diet. They feed on fruits, small insects, eggs of small birds and lizards. Unfortunately, their numbers are declining in the wild, and they are classified as near threatened. Let's hope they survive, because they are such a photogenic bird. Tanagers represent about 4% of all bird species on the planet, and Costa Rica has quite a few. They are small to medium sized birds, and they come in a variety of colours. Hummingbird, tiniest bird I've ever seen. Take a look around the outside of the property and you might find some poison dart frogs. It's worth doing a trip down one of the inland rivers to see a whole lot of different wildlife.
definitely make the trip to La Salva Biological Station. There's 1,600 hectares of old growth forest here, and over 400 species of bird have been identified. We hired a guide for our walk around the jungle, and he pointed out a whole lot of plants, mammals, and birds to us. You really have to make sure you stay on the path, though. There's a well-known reptile that likes to hide in the leaf litter, and we were fortunate to see one. The fur de lance is a highly venomous pit viper, found from southern Mexico to northern South America, and it is the main cause of fatal snake bites throughout its range. We did see some cute animals while we were there, including these Honduran white bats, which were roosting under a large leaf. hike along a couple of kilometres of trail full of leaf litter was probably not the smartest idea. Was totally worth it though to get right up close to some wild white faced capuchins. third and final location was to head to Arenal Volcano, where we stayed at the Arenal Observatory and Lodge. The lodge was modern and comfortable, and the lookout had amazing views of Arenal Volcano. There's 350 hectares of primary forest and tropical gardens here, so there's lots of exploring to be done. We don't get woodpeckers in Australia, so it was fascinating watching this large pale-billed woodpecker hammering away at a tree.
you definitely want to come and climb the nest. It's an observation tower that's 28 metres high. There's 146 steps, and when you get to the top, it's an amazing view. The view of the volcano from our room was fantastic, but equally great were all the hummingbirds in the garden. show you something cool. This is our, our rooms. You can see the view of the hotel heading out with the camera. Let's go over here. There's some great walking trails. So some cool walking trails over there on the map. Head up that way. And then Sonia did a couple of hours of walking trails. Now over here, over here, right. Now if I get down, okay, let's zoom in. You see down there? Can I zoom in even more? Hang on, let's do this. Oh, that's the most I can zoom in. There's a little pit viper snake in there. And we're going to try and get some photos. The pit viper was a lot smaller than what we were expecting. We got to see quite a few of them on a night walk, along with some other animals. Costa Rica is a fantastic destination for birding. We didn't do a specific birding trip, I mainly did birding in our spare time. In the total I counted 91 species. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.